Hi, so in this video we're going to talk about the sodium borohydride reduction of an aldehyde or a ketone. The specific example for this video comes from the sapling pre-class test 6, question number 3. So the first thing with any kind of borohydride reduction is to make sure that you can draw the Lewis structure of that nucleophile. So there's the central boron atom surrounded by four hydrides, meaning hydrogen with the pair of electrons that form the bond. Boron has a negative one formal charge, and the sodium with its plus one formal charge acts as a counter ion. They're not directly bound together because the boron already has its full octet of electrons. Now because the hydrogen is more electronegative than the boron, it acts as a nucleophilic source of hydrogen. So when it reacts with the delta plus carbon, it's the hydrogen with the pair of electrons that are attracted towards the carbon, and that forces the carbon-oxygen pi bond to break, and the oxygen gets those electrons. Now you will see many variations on this particular mechanism, and what I'm showing you here is the very essential parts of it. So the hydrogen that becomes bound to the carbon has come from the borohydride. The next step to get a neutral final product is to protonate the oxygen. And so that comes either from an acid source, the solvent, or in a second step we could add water, acid, or in this case D2O. And this serves as a way to label the hydrogens, deuterium in this case, so that we can keep track of where they go. So now we're in step two and we've added D2O. This next step then is going to be an acid-base reaction in which the oxygen is protonated, the deuterated water is deprotonated. And so this is the expanded way to draw the final product. You could also draw it as a simple line structure. These two structures are identical to each other. 